What's up, you guys? FSC Truck Shop. Right, let me do that again. What's up, you guys? FSC Truck Shop. Oh, wrong channel, idiot. <laughs> What's up, you guys? FSC Trucking. Getting ready to leave my shop here. Got Orwell behind me. Orwell's my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. George Orwell wrote the book. Peterbilt built the truck. Man, you guys have been hearing me say that for a long time, but for one of you, but for you, but for you, but for you guys, yeah. But for you guys, what the f But for everybody new to the channel, there you go. That way you know why we named, nicknamed the truck Orwell. So with that, we just get. With that, we just went ahead and unloaded all my personal belongings out of the car, getting ready to fire them up and get on out of here. What we've got behind me is the fire truck we loaded in the last video that we're getting ready to take down to Jacksonville, Florida. This is not going to the port. This is going to the fire department. So that ought to make for an interesting video. We'll take a quick look at it. We really didn't get time to look at it much when we loaded it. Really a simple little engine, nothing, nothing like a huge striker, but nonetheless just as important, just as needed. Well, naturally it needs a ride down to Florida. This is also my trailer I'm buying now. I finally got my own trailer. Although I do have, this trailer needs to be repaired and finished. Cross members are out as you can see. But with that, we do have this double drop now. We had to ramp up the back end that way it cleared up over the back deck of the trailer because obviously it can't have wheels to fit that low. It had to be you know at least that big right so if your fancy pants exhaust system that we're required to run in this country everybody else could put a $50 muffler we need a $20,000 exhaust system instead of a $50 muffler now you know why I drive an 84 ah <laughs> uh, your money at work all righty well, either way so with that let's go ahead and get Orwell fired up and get him ready for the run Jacksonville Florida here we come Awaken the inner beast. They're all Alrighty, boys and girls. Gotta get my Gatorades. I can get them from the dollar store down the street for literally a dollar a piece. So when I go over there and buy them, I buy all of them. Stick them in the shop in the fridge. Sometimes you get them for like two for four bucks at truck stops. Usually the smaller ones, some TAs. Start learning where your deals are. So a lot of people ask me with the phone app that I use. It's called DigiHUD, D-I-G-I-H-U-D. Push the button, it brings up the big screen. Push anywhere on the screen, window slash background mode. Press on it again, turns to a small screen. Then I go to Waze. Drag that down. You can position your screen, your speed screen, wherever you want. Right about there is over where Waves usually puts theirs, but that one's bigger and better, easier to see. The reason why it's called Digi HUD is you can make the big screen go on your phone and you can put it in HUD mode, which mirror images it, and you throw it on your dashboard and it shines it on your windshield. That's pretty badass, actually. I've never tried it, never had a need for it, but it is there. So with that, we're getting ready to go. I just killed the high idle. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. I'm 
I'll hit this brake knob and we'll get out of here. Let's see about maybe getting you guys some cold. Been idling for a little while just to get her warmed up. It's about up to temperature. It's like around 180. But it loads the cylinders with unburnt fuel, I suppose. I really don't know why. But when you shut the truck off, refire it, and let it idle a little bit, it makes conditions perfect so when I pull away hard, you get the cold. And that's all you get is one shot. A lot of guys will say, well, oh, don't you worry about oil burning, rolling coal and getting in trouble? No, it's bone stock. That's just how it is, factory. It's a 1984. It meets emissions requirements for 1984 model year truck. That's all it needs. It doesn't have to have that fancy pants exhaust system that that fire truck has. It just has to have what came factory in 84, which was a cheap, literally a $30, $50 muffler. It doesn't have to have anything fancy. We'll be leaving freedom. Going in the yard, dropping off paperwork. Here's your full labor. Got it. Man, all that talking big crap ain't giving no coal. Maybe tomorrow. Railroad video 
because we were in Wyoiga, and when I came through the main siding there, right here where we loaded, I noticed the signal was green. Well, we're coming to a dead stop. Puffo. I was a little kid. 